Yo, what up, guys? I'm back. It's been a little while. I've had COVID since the last video, so a lot of stuff has been happening, but I'm back with another script tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so today's video is going to be about ball spars. And as everyone knows, I use Minehut to host my server. So first off, we need a plugin. So assuming we already have script, we need SK Rayfall as well in order to get this boss bar to be working. And yes, to those of you who are wondering, Up Sky Mines is actually up and running right now. I'm not the owner anymore, but it it is it is a thing. So I'm gonna go to add-ons and I think I already own it. So but otherwise you can just search up here for SK Rayfall. And on this server, it's already installed, but once you find it here, you can just click install. I don't know why it's not loading for me right now, but that's besides the point. So let's just first make a welcome boss bar. I'm here in Adam, and the first thing I'm gonna write is on join, create boss bar, titled, and we're gonna put some quotation marks and inside these we're gonna put the title which is gonna be let's say in bold gray welcome and then we can do a green color and then the player's name then outside the quotation marks we're gonna put and ID and then we're gonna give an ID I'm just gonna put welcome dot player Actually, let's do UUID of player. That's better. For player. With progress, let's put 100. And with colors, uh, let's just put green. So this is what you need to do in order to create a boss bar. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wait maybe like one second. And now I want the bus bar to actually tick down and eventually disappear or maybe change to another boss bar. And we do that by looping 10 times. So we loop this 10 times. Uh, we're gonna set, and then we're gonna define a variable, which is just gonna be value in my case. And we're gonna set it to value of boss bar and we're gonna use the ID to define what bus bar. And re remember the dot in the middle here. Now on the next line, we're gonna remove 10 from the value variable that we defined. Then we're gonna set the bus bar and we're gonna use the ID again. And we're gonna put a value to the variable that we put. And then we're gonna wait one more second. We're gonna delete a space and then we're gonna put remove boss bar with the ID, of course, again. So our boss bar after we joined will tick down and eventually disappear. You could also create another boss bar here and do the whole thing over again to uh, make another boss bar appear after this one is ticked out. But let's check it out in game. So I'm back on Minehut here and I've copied my script. So I'm gonna go to file manager and plugins and script somewhere here, scripts and add a new script. We're gonna call it like bossbar.sk, create that. Uh, where is it? Here. And I'm just gonna paste it in here and remember to click save before you join the server. And now once we've joined our beautiful server, we're gonna type slash sk reload boss bar. And now let's just reconnect to see if the welcome message pops up. And there we go, look at that. It pops up, it counts down, and let's see if it disappears. It disappears, would you look at that? Would you look at that, that is beautiful. Now this script will be in the description in a paste bin where you can download it. And in that script, I've also included a little bus bar that comes up whenever you harm an animal. And I'm real quick going to go over how that works. So let's hop back into Adam. So this is the script that you guys will be seeing if you copy the script from the paste bin in the description. And this is what I've currently just added. So I'm gonna use a 
on damage event to determine this whole thing. And uh, the main thing is pretty much in here. We're going to start out by removing the boss bar. So if we already have a boss bar here, we're going to remove it before we make a new one. Uh, then we got to set the health of the victim. So the health that the victim has left after we hit it. And the max health of the victim. And down here, we're going to make a new variable, which will be the health that the victim has left divided by the max health and then multiplied by 100. I'm really bad at explaining this, but it just makes it into a percentage that we can use in our boss bar pretty much. And then we just create the whole boss bar. It's the same as we saw before. This one is going to be red instead and the progress is going to be determined by our last thing here. And then we're going to wait 10 seconds and we're going to determine if if it's been more than 9.5 seconds since we've hit an animal. And if so, it's going to remove our boss bar. So the boss bar just disappears after around 10 seconds if you don't interact with any animals. And that's pretty much it. You guys are welcome to copy this from the paste bin in the description and play around with it as much as you want. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. But um, I'm hoping to start making a little more videos now. Bye.